Imagine a serene watering hole, a haven for thirsty animals, but beneath the calm surface lurks a deadly predator. Picture the scene. It's a blistering hot afternoon. The sun is a relentless force painting everything in hues of brilliant gold. Amidst this scorching landscape, a watering hole provides a much needed respite. This is no ordinary oasis, it's a bustling hub of activity, a meeting place for all creatures great and small. Elephants, zebras, gazelles all converge here, seeking solace from the heat. Yet, amidst the apparent tranquility, an unseen danger lies in wait. Meet our main character, the crocodile. This creature is a master of disguise, perfectly adapted to its environment. The watering hole is its stage and the crocodile is the star performer expertly blending into the background. Its olive green skin is the perfect camouflage against the murky water, making it almost invisible to unsuspecting prey. In world, crocodiles are ambush predators, relying on stealth and surprise to capture their prey. They're patient, lying still for hours, even days, perfectly camouflaged beneath the water's surface. Crocodile waits, ever watchful, ever patient. Its heart rate slows, conserving energy for the explosive burst of speed it will need when the time is right. It's an expertly executed strategy, perfected over millions of years of evolution. Little do the animals know of the danger that lies beneath, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Each sip of water, each moment of respite, could potentially be their last. This is the unseen danger of the watering hole. This is the crocodile's world. As the sun begins to set, a thirsty antelope ventures towards the water, unaware of the creeping death below. Under the golden glow of the setting sun, the world seems peaceful. The silhouette of a lone antelope emerges. It's a picture of innocence and vulnerability, its eyes wide and alert, its steps hesitant. The antelope is thirsty, its body craving the cool relief that only the watering hole can provide. It inches closer, its slender legs trembling slightly, its senses on high alert. Beneath the seemingly placid surface of the watering hole, danger lurks. A master of stealth and ambush, the crocodile lies in wait. Its cold eyes watch the antelope's every move, its powerful body perfectly still in the murky depths. The crocodile is patient, it knows the rules of this deadly game. As the antelope dips its head to drink, the tension in the air is palpable. Every rustle of the reeds, every ripple in the water heightens the suspense. The watering hole, once a place of respite, now feels like a stage set for a deadly performance. The crocodile is ready. Its muscles coil, its jaws open slightly, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. It's a chilling sight, a stark contrast to the beauty of the setting sun. The crocodile is a creature of power and precision, its entire being honed for this exact moment. The antelope, oblivious to the impending danger, continues to drink. Its sides heave with exhaustion and relief. The crocodile waits, its body a coiled spring of deadly potential. Then, without warning, the tranquility of the scene shatters. The crocodile explodes out of the water, its jaws wide open, its eyes fixed on the antelope. It's a moment of raw, primal power, a stark reminder of the merciless laws of nature. In a split second, the tranquil scene erupts into chaos as the crocodile lunges out of the water, jaws wide open. The antelope struggles, but the crocodile's grip is unyielding. A deadly dance of life and death ensues. In the heart of the wilderness, the spectacle of survival unfolds. The antelope, a creature of grace and agility, is now caught in the ironclad jaws of the crocodile. The struggle is brutal, a testament to the raw, unfiltered power of nature. The antelope kicks and thrashes, trying to break free from the crocodile's vice-like grip. But the crocodile is an ancient predator evolved over millions of years to become a master of ambush and power. Let's delve a little deeper into the crocodile's hunting techniques. It lies in wait, hidden beneath the water's surface, a silent assassin. As an antelope ventures close to drink, the crocodile strikes with lightning speed, its powerful jaws snapping shut on the unsuspecting prey. Crocodiles are not just about brute strength, they are equipped with some of the animal kingdom's most formidable weaponry. Their teeth, sharp as daggers, are designed to grip and hold, not to chew. 
Once the crocodile has its jaws locked onto its prey, it is nearly impossible for the victim to escape. The crocodile's tail, a massive, muscular appendage, works like a powerful engine, propelling the creature through the water with astonishing speed. Additionally, the crocodile is a master of the role, a hunting technique where it spins its body, disorienting and weakening its prey. In this brutal struggle, the antelope fights valiantly. It kicks, leaps, and tries to shake off the crocodile. But the crocodile's grip is unyielding. It's a chilling display of the predator's raw power and tenacity. The antelope's energy begins to wane, its desperate attempts to free itself becoming weaker, slower. But the crocodile's grip only tightens. It begins to pull the antelope towards the water, preparing for the final act of this deadly dance. Despite the antelope's desperate attempts, the crocodile's grip only tightens, pulling it under the water. The watering hole returns to its deceptive tranquility as the crocodile disappears beneath the surface, its prey in tow. In the aftermath of the attack, the watering hole becomes a mirror reflecting the tranquil sky above. The ripples of the struggle slowly fade away this is a paradox. It is both a source of life and a stage for death. The animals that depend on it for survival are constantly reminded of this harsh reality. They tread cautiously, their senses heightened, their instincts on high alert. They know the danger that lurks beneath the surface and understand that survival here is a game of chance and skill. The antelope, the zebra, the wildebeest, and other inhabitants of the plains, they all have their survival tactics. They approach the water's edge in herds, providing safety in numbers. They take turns to drink, while others keep a vigilant watch for any signs of danger. They have learned to live with the lurking threat, with the knowledge that every trip to the watering hole could be their last. The crocodile, on the other hand, is a master of patience and precision. It lies in wait, camouflaged beneath the surface, its eyes and nostrils just above the waterline. It waits for the perfect moment to strike, its attack swift and deadly. In the world of the crocodile, there is no room for error. It is a dance of death, a battle of survival. As the day wanes and the sun sets over the horizon, the watering hole returns to a deceptive calm. The crocodile disappears into the depths, leaving behind a chilling silence. The animals retreat, their thirst quenched, their survival ensured for now. The watering hole, a source of life, also becomes a stage for death, a striking reminder of the harsh realities of nature. The crocodile attack at the watering hole is a stark demonstration of the circle of life in the animal kingdom. Let's take a step back and reflect on what we've observed today. The watering hole, a place of peace and tranquility, was transformed into a theater of life and death. The unsuspecting prey, the deadly ambush, the brutal struggle and the aftermath. All these events unfolded in a matter of moments, painting a vivid picture of the harsh realities of nature. The crocodile, often seen as a ruthless predator, is merely playing its part in the grand The struggle that ensues is a testament to the will to survive inherent in every creature. The prey fights valiantly, but the crocodile's grip is relentless. The struggle ends more often than not in favor of the crocodile. It's a brutal display, but one that underscores the raw beauty of nature and its unforgiving laws.